But I'm only human And I bleed when I fall down I'm only human And I crash and I break down Words in my head and knives in my heart You build me up and then I fall apart Cause I'm only this makeup tutorial. I think I'm gonna label it kind of like an African Ethiopian something along those lines. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I am doing a matte brown smoky eye with a pop of like a yellowish gold in the inner corner because I did this choker. I just got like a thick piece of um, what is it? Um, I don't want to say like Ribbon. Ribbon. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> I got a thick piece of ribbon. It's a black piece and then I found this little like like sequence type of thing for my grandma's like little container because she's into like the arts and crafts and creating things and stuff like that so I found it and then I just used her super glue and super glued it all the way around and I just did it all the way from the top down to the bottom and making sure I was lining up the little um folds or whatever they're called I don't really know what they're called but that's what I pretty much based this look off of so I created this and then I wanted to do um I've seen girls with their hair like this on like Instagram and and Facebook and stuff like that and I thought it was really cute um so I just did a head full of Bantu knots and I didn't do them to the size where it would be like a really cute style I just did it where I just wrapped my hair in a ponytail and then I twisted the hair around and put another rubber band on the top just to hold the, the knot in place. Um, so I think it would still turn out cute at one, once I take it down because I just sprayed some water with oil in my hair. And then I used some like just some random like gel type of thing and then just top, twisted it in a knot. So I thought it would be really cute. It's just kind of something that's a little bit more edgy, a little bit more urban. Um, and I just thought this would be cute. And I did do this matte brown smoky eye because I thought that was kind of like it's earth tony. It's not too much going on. It is literally the most simple look I have ever, ever, ever done, you guys. I used four shadows in, in total. And I used um, mainly the, the Anastasia Beverly Hills mo Modern Renaissance palette. Can I not talk? <laughs> I used um, Real Gar and Cypress Umber. I used these two shades right here. And then I just used a couple tra a transition shade from the Self Made palette. What is this? The Shadow Couture palette. And then I used the metallic shade out of this palette. So I used Morocco and metallic out of this palette. So, whoop. You don't have to use either one of these palettes if you have a matte brown, you have a warm transition shade, and something to pop in the inner corner, you're done. That's all you need. I didn't even need to use Morocco because Real Girl was just, it was a perfect shade. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will stop rambling. Leave me more comments down below on what you like to see. Um, I do have, like, the um, cut crease look coming soon. I'm going to film that probably tomorrow. That way I can talk through it because later on I have a girl coming so I can film another makeup transformation video. But anyways, you know, I'm rambling now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you enjoyed it or you didn't. And leave me more suggestions down below. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye. Alright, alright, alright. We're going to start by priming our lids with the balms. Put a lid on it. Eyeshadow primer. I really like to use this when I'm not going for something that's really intense and vibrant because it just does its job. It just primes. So for my crease shade, I'm going in with Morocco out of the Shadow Couture palette. And I'm taking this on an E35 blending brush and just working this into my crease. I'm using a big fluffy brush just to kind of like disperse the color. Not focusing it anywhere in particular, but just to put that color all in my crease. Then I'm going in with Real Girl out of the the Modern Renaissance palette. I think it's Real Gar, Real Gar, something like that. And I'm taking a fluffy E25 blending brush and I'm putting this directly into the socket of my crease and kind of covering up Morocco to an extent. Then I go in with Cypress Umber and I take that on a Sigma. I think this is an E55 eyeshadow brush. I love this brush. It is so, so, so awesome for packing on color. So I just pack that brown shade all over my crease and then I go in with more of a dense and a more densely packed E25 blending brush and I work this into the crease um, kind of right over where I applied Real Gar. And then I go back in with the same E55 eyeshadow brush and then pack that Cypress Umber shade over the top so it looks a little bit more of a light brown as opposed to a deep brown like it does in my crease so then I apply a black eyeliner into my upper waterline just to tight line and to you know hide all of the skin up there and then I go with my iris beauty lashes and sriracha 
to prime my skin, I go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Face Primer. This is the Pore Minimizer Primer, so I place that into the area, which is my forehead, cheek, nose, and my chin, where my pores are the largest, just to cover and conceal all of those. And then for foundation, today I'm using my Krylon TV Paint Stick. I was going through all of the ones that I have, and I found this one. This is NG2, and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks close to my skin tone, because you guys know I'm getting darker now that it's summer. So I placed it onto my hand, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's like my shade, so... <laughs> I've been using this now as opposed to 11W. 11W is more of my winter shade, but NG2 is definitely my summer shade. And as you can see, this foundation gives me such a flawless coverage. I don't need that much of a full coverage foundation anymore, but you know, old habits die hard. So I love my full coverage foundation. So I put that on with a Kabuki brush by Sigma, and then I highlight with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn, and I just take this on the side of my nose, underneath of my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and Cupid's bow, and then the center of my forehead. So I take those in all of the areas where I want the light to naturally, or where the light naturally highlights the skin, and just kind of, you know, artificially highlight. So I blend that out with my damp beauty blender, just because it soaks up any of the excess product, and it just makes sure your under eye concealer doesn't look cakey, and doesn't crease, or do anything that is gross. So after that, I lightly bake with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. You guys know I stopped baking with this just because it was starting to give me a, a like a really like flat like a nice flashback underneath my eyes. Not nice, but I stopped doing that. So I just lightly pack it on with the beauty blender and then I go ahead and blend it out with my e.l.f. Um, I think this is a blush brush, I believe, but I use it as a setting brush. So after that, I go ahead and contour my skin with my Nikki Garrett Contouring Palette in the shade Dark, and I use my Real Techniques Contouring Brush because it gets really nicely into the hollows of my cheekbones and really contours my skin. So I really like using this because it's the perfect shade, no matter if it's summer, winter, whatever. I love using this contouring palette. And then I go in with the same E fluffy E25 blending brush. It's not the same one, but it's a fluffy one. And I just use that to contour down the sides of my nose. And then I go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit. And I take golden bronze on a big fluffy highlighting brush from BH Cosmetics. And I just take that onto the tops of my cheekbones just to give me a nice golden glow. I was originally just going to go with this, but I was like, mmm. I will take it up a notch. <laughs> and then I go in with my balm, the Balms blush. This is an in-stain blush in the shade Tool. And I just place that onto my cheeks as a um, blush with a dual fiber brush just for a little pop of pinkish peach peach color onto my cheeks and then I go in with my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two and I take the highlighting shade in this palette and I take that on a BH Cosmetics smaller, more, you know, firm, dense, or uh, I can't even speak, fan brush and I just pop that over the top of where I applied golden bronze and also on my nose and the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. Then I go back in with Real Ga or Cypress Umber on that same E25 blending brush and I just smoked that uh, on my lower lash line. I didn't want it to be too precise. I kind of want it to be blown out and diffused. And then I take that same black lip liner into my waterline to black it out. For my inner corner, I apply Metallic out of the Shadow Couture palette and just pop that into my inner corner so it ties in with my choker and my earrings. And then for my lips, liquid lipstick, I'm taking the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Teddy. It is so pretty and I didn't think it was that close to my skin tone as it was, but it kind of gives it a nice burgundy undertone. So it looks really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you did or did not enjoy this video. Also leave me more suggestions down below on what else you would like to see, whether it's from me or from my makeup transformation videos and I would definitely 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 see you guys in the next one I love you Mwah. bye why well, my mama gotta interrupt my song break <laughs> we've been on the phone for an hour already She's a part of my mind. I know it's feeling you inside